What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I'm seriously trying to sit here and figure out why I am the way I am because I really truly cannot figure this out. Uh, you've seen previous videos probably very close to when this is being published, posted, whenever you, whenever you want to call it, uh, about me customizing this detail cart that I've had for about 10 years. I truly love this cart. I don't really have any issues with this cart. So why am I where I am right now making this video? Uh, I can't really tell you, but I decided after seeing this a few times and one of my friends that I talked to online saying, oh, I have this cart, it's the Ultimate Detailing Cart uh, by Grilled Garage. Um, I got the full-on version that's got the tray insert for the polishing um, holder. I've got the detailing bins, the little uh, trays that stick out on the side because I figured that could be kind of cool also. And we're going to give it a go because, well, there's a 180-day money-back guarantee. So at very worst-case situation scenario, I could basically have content. And if I hate it, I'm out shipping and I could send this back if it's not going to be as nice as this. So anyway, let's, uh, let's open these boxes. Let's uh, put these pieces together, this puzzle piece together. See how the cart looks in size comparison and functionality. Anyway, rambling, let's open this up, let's see what the hell we got, and we'll go from there. So these are what we have uh, in the boxes. Now you can order this cart without the extra pieces. I think you can order it without the, um, the bins, and you can order it without the tray. So if you just want a regular cart, but I think these are kind of cool. They're little bins that go on the side of the cart, which also, they also help lock down anything that would move a little bit with the tray. Now, I'll be transparent. I already know what would happen for me. I bought this specifically because of this tray. You can tell it holds two polishers. You can lock this tray down to the top with four screws. I will not do that. Uh, I'm going to keep it where it is. It holds bottles. It holds your cell phone, it can hold a brush, cleaning pads, anything here. And it has has little attachments here that can go into here to make this groove smaller if you want to have like a three inch or a nano polisher, which I just thought was pretty freaking awesome. And then as far as the width of the um, cart would go, let me just see right away if this is gonna be viable and it looks like it will be I got my buckets and I'll be able to still have when the tray is not on obviously I'll be able to still have my buckets to use the cart as a wash cart and then when I don't want to use it as a wash cart when the washing process is done I can stack the buckets on the side put the tray in and the tray will sit However, it does whenever I get to that point, I'll be able to, you know, just move the tray anywhere. And uh, it should be kind of cool. It's got, this is kind of a crazy design. I'm already noticing something as a dad. It's got this awesome little uh, magnetic piece that's supposed to be a car. But let me tell you, this is super sharp and I have kids. That is absolutely a stupid thing so that nice music that's absolutely going to get cut off if i do decide to leave this cart here um otherwise i can remove this and just have whatever i want there but that's that's silly that actually can hurt my kids and they will reach for that. They will reach for that when they're in my garage. So, I haven't even put it together and I've seen something in dad's mode. It's Father's Day, by the way. Happy Father's Day. So let's uh, pull these out. These feel significantly stronger than I thought they were. This is some thick plastic, some thick boy plastic here. All right, I'm gonna need two hands. So I'm gonna pull this out and uh, 
start putting this together and as I come across things I'll let you know what's stay there I'll let you know what's going on okay so this is how you identify the top the middle and the bottom the top it was actually the one that was there it's the thinnest piece with the shortest um, area here the middle is gonna be the one that has a pass through on this area and the bottom is gonna be the one where if you look at the bottom it's got an area for the casters these to uh, screw into. Now, what the steps are showing here is these handles are gonna go on here, but this is the hardware we have. It looks like I'm supposed to take this noodly, noodly noodle and put that over that. That's weird, but I guess, I guess the uh, purpose of that is to keep it watertight so that um, maybe the hardware doesn't rust out at all ever. So I'm not entirely sure of the reasoning, but <clears throat> I am not a manufacturer. So we're gonna attach these handles onto there. Basically just gonna push these on says you need a rubber mallet but you know I have a hand I also have a rubber mallet so pop it pop it sweet okay it says do not over tighten so I'm just gonna throw this bad boy in there I guess somehow In there and get my screwdriver I got myself a nice long boy here so we're gonna just pop that in and hopefully seems like it's going down Just get it nice and snug, but no more than that. Okay, so step one, we have uh, these all secured nice. And put that down. Step two, it looks like we're gonna take these things and we're gonna hammer them in onto here. This is the bottom tray, so we're gonna put these four pegs on the bottom tray, then attach the middle tray, then put the four pegs on that, and then put the top tray on top of that. Then we can worry about the wheels. So we're getting there. All right, let's do that. This just doesn't feel natural doing this. I mean, I guess it's like it's on and stuff, but it just doesn't feel natural when it like mushrooms something piece of the plastic out. I didn't like that, but I mean, it's in. Like this little ridge right here, it's like pushing it down and they're all the same. So it all has to follow these on these little no there's like really only one way to do it all right so my bad i was hanging hammering i was ha hangering 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 hungry i was hammering while it was on the box so i wasn't getting like the force back that i guess i needed so once i put it on a floor and and hammered it uh it went great but still just want to show you every single one of these legs um mushroomed some sort of uh some sort of layer of plastic, every single one of them. Um, I, I guess that's its way of making sure the tolerances are super tight or, or whatever, but, you know, I don't know. I'm just hoping, I mean, I, I don't, it's not gonna make a big difference, but I think 
everything should work out that the uh, pressure washer I'm gonna have to put padding in there to boost it up like I did on this cart so that the fittings are higher so I can keep it on the uh, bottom but I think we should be all right with that so you know what's gonna suck is you know you're not really gonna ever have to return this I get it yeah 180 day money back guarantee how in the hell would I get those rods off that if I had to return it and I wouldn't that's the answer Jesus so you can watch this one I did the other three but if you watch me uh, pound this one and you'll see it's gonna do the mushroom thing again okay. all of them I guess it's just a design thing whatever it's gonna pick these off I mean, I know it's not going anywhere, so this cart's going to be, I guess, the ultimate, uh, the ultimately strong cart. Just peel off these mushroom clouds of doom here. There's no really good way to hammer this one. Hello. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. <laughs> you know what they should have did for this design? Let's make this flat. I don't want to I don't want to hit this and I don't want to hit the actual cart. So like I'm having to hit right here and it's it's going down little by little, but you know, this side's not that great. And this one's going down, so I gotta work on this side a little bit so it goes down evenly, but god damn, dude, what the hell? Alright guys, so this cart is put together. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this. I really, really like this. I think this is something worth keeping, specifically because it's got the second shelf. Now, let's talk about this extra shelf here. I do lose a little bit of... Um, potential space specifically because I was keeping my wheel bucket with my wheel brushes with my wheel brushes uh, down there next to my pressure washer I can't do that I can't do that so what's gonna end up happening since I've been cleaning out a lot I still have a little bit more to do but I've been reorganizing the ever loving hell out of this garage to make it more functional for me and to make it just a cleaner place, a cleaner environment. I'll keep my two bucket buckets on top of here. Now, this tray comes off very easily. Let me show you real quick. So these things just sit in here. Now, you could easily put the screws in. The reason I won't do that is because of this. This comes off super easy. And then I can just lift this tray off when I'm not doing uh, any kind of paint correction. More often than not, I'm really not doing that much paint correction. It's not happening all the time. So this beautiful bucket and my other one are just gonna sit on top as if they normally would sit on top. So I'll have them here. Things I really like about this cart, I love that there's two handles. I love that this is taller. I love the swivel of these wheels. I tried to fix these wheels and I tried to modify them as you saw in a the video. There's only so much you can do. And I love that cart. I'll always love that cart. I'll never say a bad word about that cart. But I think it's time I move on. It's just become more bulky and cumbersome. This thing is like super, it just glides. It's very nice. I know Griot stands behind their products. It was slightly pricey, obviously compared to that cart. But I feel like for detailing for what you get, uh, $225 versus a little over a hundred um, but then again I put more money into this to try to get it to where this would even be I mean this alone right here could be almost a hundred dollars worth of um, polisher holders so I'm gonna take those off try to utilize them either on this cart or somewhere else over here I don't know yet one of the things I loved the most about the mods that I did to this cart was the uh, industrial little bar there I don't know specifically if I can put that here but I will look at options into 
doing that. It's just a good look. I love when the red's on top, the tray's on top, because it just looks pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I'm going to move that bucket, and now I do have additional space here. So let me talk real quick about the pressure washer, because we're going to have to... Um, I'm going to put more video here uh, in a second. That's not going to be when I'm filming right now, because... I have issues mentally. Don't get me uh, started here. So this is the pressure washer I use. It's an AR Blue Clean. It is a 630, a uh, 2.1 gallon per minute, 1900 PSI. And I've had this pressure washer for quite a bit, quite a bit of time. And it really is a fantastic unit. I've had little to no issues with it except uh, it's very heavy it's a very heavy pressure washer so I like to keep it in the cart I've always had it at the bottom of the cart and usually what I do is I'll just hook things up quick disconnect use the pressure washer and I'm done now the problem is my quick disconnects and the way that everything is set up these are very low so what I've done in the past is I've had these neo pads and I've put them down it helps for two things one vibrations when it's on it's uh, a padding of sorts so it just sat on the pads uh, and two it elevated the pressure washer just enough for me to be able to get my hose uh, over the lip so um, this used to be enough but it's no longer enough so I ordered another one of these which are you know almost two inches thick so I'll have two pads you can see where it sits I'll have two pads down there it'll raise it up enough I'll be able to still have the functionality of the pressure washer it'll be tucked away down there it'll give me the extra weight on the bottom of the cart which actually when it's on there I'm not gonna put it on there right now because it's a heavy little son of a bitch and you know I don't really want to do that this looks like who knows it's it's probably getting close to time to get a new pressure washer anyway Kranzel Kranzla whatever We'll see how things go. I just like that this is a solid unit, and uh, and it's been doing good by me. But uh, I'm going to put this down here, so I'll show you that before I end the video. Okay, guys, so I waited the extra day, and I got pretty much what I would feel like is a functioning idea of where this cart's going to be. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like real quick. A quick glimpse. I still have more mods. <laughs> Uh, plan for this thing, but for right now, this is my um, excitement coming through. I did say, or I hope I mentioned in the last little clip here, that uh, I bought two kneeling pads because, because if you look here, this is my pressure washer, my AR Blue Clean, and for me to have this run, I need to be able to hook up to this and not have any issues. But now I can do that just fine and I've got plenty of room here for the cordage which I might one it's not in use move the cords here to the front because cool enough is uh, this can slide any which way which you know I can tuck that all the way back and I've got some so much room there and I can use this even more for storage which probably Probably uh, look something like that once I actually, you know, wrap that correctly. Then I can take my uh, bucket caddy and leave that down there. Now, I was a little concerned about not having room for my wheel bucket. And the answer to that was right in front of my face like a dodo bird. I forgot I had this. Uh, it's a collapsible bucket from Adams. I don't really love much of anything from Adams, but you know I'm that type of guy that will buy with my money, no sponsorship stuff, and I want to try. I want to try what's going on. This is the answer to my uh, conundrum. So I'm going to have this here, um, or maybe even down here, if I, uh, if I so see fit. I might do something along those lines, right? Leave this open for some of my wheel brushes or maybe even who the hell else knows what else I want down there. Whatever I want down there. Uh, but whenever I need to wash my wheels during the wheel process, I could uncollapse this, put some water in it, use whatever, um, use whatever, 
you know utensil I'm feeling at the moment and I don't need to have an actual bucket that would need to be stored on there it's actually a much better system so this is on there I'm gonna redo that coiling it's still pretty nimble it is a lot heavier obviously because this pressure washer is like I don't know 50 to 70 pounds something it's pretty heavy but this is what we got now again this is not gonna stay on there this is just for demonstration purposes but it's my um, my gear driven my mule and my uh, XCE 10-8 uh, but this is a, a really cool upgrade for me I might want to do something along the lines of this getting tweaked because I hate how there's just random stuff here now but I couldn't have a risk of you know my kids grabbing that and um, likely what I will do is uh, down here at the bottom add the uh, the same thing I did on this right here I'm probably gonna add that down there so I could still have that optional attachment and uh, I'll do a video if I decide to do that but yeah this is uh it's awesome I'm very excited very excited totally worth $225 or whatever the heck it was totally totally worth it very clean look I'm excited I'm very happy I pulled the trigger on it and we will actually be retiring all reliable here but uh yeah that's all probably a long video as usual but thank you so much for stopping by if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing if you are an OCD OG I truly appreciate every single one of you thank you for passing by again and uh this is what we got this is our new detail cart. What do you think? Let me know. See you guys on the next one.